Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Patty and Ralph need to sell this house because it's just too small for their family of six, but they still feel attached to the beach home that Ralph built himself. I mean, my heart and soul's in this house, and gosh, it's tough to sell it. Which may be why they haven't changed it to suit potential buyers. The home is dated and unappealing to their target market. What on earth is this? They're a little on the high side. I always say to Ralph that he thought he was going to marry somebody taller. So I'll be using smart staging and design tricks. Oh, that's a that. great idea. To turn this unsellable house into one that sells. Oh. This is like a wow, 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 wow. Folly Beach, South Carolina is a surf town with plenty of shops, restaurants, and of course, waves. Many properties here serve as vacation rentals, but Ralph and Patty's four kids have been born and raised here, slowly outgrowing the house that Ralph built. I don't want to sell it, but you know, it's something that we have to do. We have too much stuff and we need a bigger place to put that stuff, so it's time to move on. Ralph's reno and other quirks of the home could be keeping buyers at bay because the house isn't getting any bites. Hold on, I'm getting from the east. Life's a beach, they say. That is until you try and sell a house by the beach. Outdated style, unfinished reno, turn what could be a calming beach retreat into a buyer's no-no. This 1,400 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home is listed at $399,000 and has been on the market for almost two years. This beach house is on stilts, which is a bonus, because in areas like this, which are prone to hurricane and flooding, if your house isn't on stilts, it's very difficult to get insurance. Well, I better get inside and see what the problems are. Hello. What would be fab is if you could show me around the house and then I can see what the problems are. OK. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is the dining room. This is where we eat dinner. Uh -huh. And that's where the kids are on the computer. Do you use that sofa much? Not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> it just sits there. Right, yeah, so sure. it's just there as a yeah. prop. We don't use it at all. It's a fabulous big room. Right. But if your eyes get drawn to this area, yeah, yeah it's not the right. best first impression. And this is where we watch TV and uh -huh. hang out. But it's a big, big room. Right. It is. And yeah. I love how it's open plan. Yeah. The only thing is, is at the moment, just the way the furniture is laid out with the sofa there, sofa here, I don't think it looks as big as it could. Right. It kind Doesn't of chops up flow. the room. Yeah. 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 What on earth is this? That's our ceramic towel for. Is this for dancing? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, then we used to have a wood stove here. Once uh, we started having kids, we had to get rid of the wood stove. You can even see where the Oh, you chimney, can see the chimney. Yeah, yes. where it had gone through there. And then we just, we put the tile there. I don't know why we never put wood there. Yeah. We thought this would look good, but... It's <laughs> one of the drawbacks, though, because mm. the people walk in and don't know what this is doing here. Yep. And then they look up and see the square, and they think maybe water damage. damage or, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. it was just that we had to replace it with central heat yeah. and air. And also, I think the problem is that they're, they're going to think that if they replace this, they're going to have to replace all the floor. Exactly. And it's going to be right. work. Which is going to be more expensive. And if they think there's going to be a lot of work, it means that they'll lowball you. Exactly. Right, absolutely. And that's yeah. what's been happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it does look a bit strange. So this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen, and this is the... Bar. Right. Um, it's been pretty useless. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is where the kids and Ralph like to put things on top, so <laughs> right. it looks all messy. Right. So it you drives have, me nuts. So you have to run around hiding. I up. do. I yeah. run around and I hide everything in the drawers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't look in the drawers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it you drives have... me nuts. <laughs> Ralph's very stuck in his ways. He doesn't like change at all. That's why everything in the house has stayed the same all these years. Now, can I ask a question? They're a little on the high side. I'm quite, I consider myself relatively tall, and I can only just reach the top. I tell you, this, I don't know what I was thinking when I was uh, putting those things up. Ralph thought he was going to marry a tall lady, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I have to jump up on the counter and so do the kids to get the yeah. dishes up the top. Yeah. That's easily sold, but the, the floor is uh. a little on the dated side. <laughs> you think? You think? Come yeah. on, come I on. I think things have changed, Ralph, since 1983. <laughs> <laughs> If you, the kitchen cupboards are a bit dated and the floor right. means that the kitchen looks a bit tired. 
I don't think there's much point spending a huge amount on a kitchen before you sell the house right. because someone else thinks that they're just paying for your taste in kitchens. But right, definitely right. a lick of paint is, is a wonderful thing. And so through here, what's this? I love how it's open plan, but one room leads on to another. Right. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty open. So this is the master bedroom. Pretty good size master yeah. bedroom. Not much in the decorating, because right, you know yeah. I'm not good at that. Just need some help. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's help. why I'm here, Patty. Yeah, yeah. As you said, it's really big, but at the same yeah. time, it's cluttered. You know, with the four kids, we don't have much storage. Yeah. Yeah. So we put everything in here to keep it. Yeah, it definitely, again, it just looks a bit on the tired side. It's, you know, our house, so it's perfect, but in other people's eyes, it needs a lot of work. That makeup table looks like it's seen some action. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is all, this was his grandmother's. Oh, so there's a dressing area in there. Right. Yeah. Women love a good dressing area. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about this house, though, because it's unusual. Yeah, it is. And I think that's a bonus if it looks amazing, yeah. because I think people remember it and it stands out from the, from the crowd. Right. And it's a popular... Area. It is. Houses in this neighborhood are currently selling for between $350,000 and $380,000. At $399,000, Patty and Rouse is listed high and it's not showing well enough to beat out the lower price competition. The couple's realtor, Mary Ann, knows they have to step up their game to win an offer. There has been a lot of sales in this price range, however, we're not one of them. So they go into these new cute homes around the corner and we can't compare to it. I'm asking Mary Ann to hold an open house to see exactly what's stopping buyers from placing an offer. Not really a big fan of the dining room right when you come in the front door. What do you think no. about that? Or the couch, I don't like that. Yeah, that doesn't really make much sense. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. I'd rather have the hardwood floors all the way through. I'm not really crazy about this cabinetry. What do yeah, you think? Or the knobs. Or the knobs. That's old. Oh, ouch. Green carpet. It doesn't feel real light and airy, though it has lots and lots of space and high ceiling. So we had the open house. There was negative comments, which is to be expected. Right. The main feedback we had from buyers was the house was dated and they were worried it was going to take a lot of work to get it up to a turnkey condition. Things like the ceramic tiles, they think, ooh, that's going to be a lot of work. We'll have to redo the whole floor. And I think that scares people off. They also said that considering how high the ceilings were, it feels quite dark in here. Yeah. Is that something that you've experienced? Yeah, when yeah. the sun's not out and it's kind of, it's dark in here, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and I think that has to do with the paint. Easily remedied. It's amazing, the power of paint. It totally transforms a room. And I think once we've done the work, this house is going to look Absolutely fantastic. Right. So are you ready to do that? I'm ready to Absolutely. go? Absolutely. Can't wait to get started. I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. I've got a master plan to make this house more sellable, starting with a new and improved first impression. I'll be painting the walls a pale colour with a hint of warmth that buyers will find inviting. I'll relocate a hut from the kitchen hall and paint it out white to brighten the area more. A bench along the opposite wall will give function and balance to the space. I'll add decorative graphic plates to the hutch colourful cushions to the bench and plants to invigorate the otherwise neutral area. The seating area will get the same paint and trim to create flow. I'll reposition the furniture around a new decorative hardwood feature that will install in place of the tiled floor. Orange and red accessories will energise the space. The kitchen will be transformed as we tear down the existing bar and rip up the old grey laminate floor in favour of a new tile. The cupboards will be lowered for easier access and the dining table will be moved from the front hall into its rightful home. Finally, the master bedroom will be painted a fresh cream colour. I'll flank the bed with side tables to add storage and create symmetry. New linens and throw pillows will make the bed more of a focal point. I think if it's turnkey, then people are going to fall in love with it because it is a unique beach house, but at the moment, no. Looks like somebody forgot to dust. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the inside of the house has been cleared of clutter, so the kids and I are getting to work on curb appeal by tidying the area under the stilts of the home. Because this is the first place that buyers see when they come up the drive, it's got to be super tidy. So would you mind helping me with the bikes and the surfboards and just moving them over there so people can't see them? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Staging your house doesn't mean you stop living. 
so find ways to tidy while keeping items you use often accessible. While I hold down the fort with the kids, I'm sending Patty and Ralph to see a house in their neighborhood. This house has 1,400 square feet of space, two bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's sold for $350,000 in only 35 days. Oh, nice fireplace. I like the, the interior decorating, definitely. So maybe if we spruced up the inside to where when they walk into the door, it's more of a like... They say, wow. Wow. Yeah, you know, look at this. Look, look what they've done. Oh, like the cabinets, they're low. <laughs> yeah, you can reach up there, huh? This is a good-sized bedroom. This looks like an old Folly Beach. It's definitely home. a beach house, yeah. yeah definitely Folly Beach old. house. Yeah, this is like ready to go in, ready to... Right, they wouldn't have to do anything buying this house. Buying right. our house, they'd have to do... Absolutely. Put some money out to buy our house. We gotta have our wow factor when people walk when people in. people walk they in. They gotta be saying, wow, look at the inside of this house. Right. Hey. Hi. Wow. wow, look at I this. I know, look. We've made a real start on the decluttering. So how was the comparable house? It was bright and joy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was yeah. new paint. Yeah. That was probably the only thing I could find that was different that we could change here. It was like three rectangle boxes in a row as you walk through. Yeah. So basically, you're saying the layout of this house is far Much and away better. better. Oh, yeah, definitely. Better. Yeah. I want everyone to walk in and just go, wow, I want to buy this house now. Right. So do you want to start helping me with a few projects? Sounds Absolutely, good. let's go. Brilliant. You know David. Hey. Hey, hey David. Hey, well, hey, so you're hey. just in time to help me. All right. You guys are going to rip up the dance floor. No, not my dance floor. Yep. Uh, me okay. and Patty are going to go and do some painting, so see you later. Let's do some demo. Absolutely. What do okay. I need to do? You're going to tape off the floor first. We've got to protect this, OK? All right. Let's just run right along the seam there. This demo we're going to do shouldn't be a problem. Unless you don't want to do it. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, you ready? Hey, I'd love to tear this floor off. OK, good. You don't know how many years I've been sick of seeing it. Ralph's looking forward to getting this done. <laughs> so hit it real hard? Just, or? just break it, yeah. Right. Keep on going. Oh, look at that. We're lucky. Patty, did you buy this furniture? No, I didn't. A, a friend of mine that passed away um, left it to me. Right. So you're all right with us? Painting it a paler colour. Yes. Yeah, I just think it will really brighten up the room because it's quite a big bit of furniture, and then it will go with the other bits of furniture that we're painting paler. Because the whole idea is to really brighten up the house. I'm just using this light sandpaper so yeah, the primer know. sticks better okay. to the surface. It's amazing how the house is looking bigger already, though. Oh, it does. It and brighter. Great. Yeah, I was surprised. We'll create a cool pattern. Uh huh. We'll even it out in the space. Man, that's a good idea. The wood is going to look great. Ralph was helping me prep the floor for the new hardwood feature that will replace the old tile. We're also taking out some of the existing hardwood so the feature will extend the length of the conversation area and feel balanced in the room. Have you ever painted before? Oh, yeah. It's, I don't think it's one of my best skills, <laughs> but I'm learning. Painting heirloom furniture can feel like sacrilege, but times and styles change. Just a coat of paint can prolong the life of otherwise tired-looking furniture. And now for the moment of truth, OK? If it lines up flush, we're in good shape. If not, our day has just started. It's going to look nice. Oh, you okay. lucked out, huh? <laughs> for sure. Man, why didn't I do this 20 years ago? <laughs> Cupboards are going to look so much better when they're painted. I can't wait to see them. And also <laughs> lowered. Yeah. <laughs> I must have driven you absolutely mad. Oh, you had to get a chair to get into these ones. Just sometimes changing the handles and painting the cupboards makes all the difference. Two down, three to go. I need more help to tackle this dated and dysfunctional kitchen. So the couple's four kids are chipping in. OK, guys, these are the kitchen cabinets which we've taken off, so we need to paint them. We have to paint this one. Yes, you do have to paint it. This is just primer, so we only need a very small oh. amount. And then we will paint over the top with proper paint. That's Excellent. good. That is perfect. And we're also lowering the cupboard, so you don't have to clamber around. Oh, nice. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Many people think you need to put in an all-new kitchen to sell their house, 
but depending on the market you're in, putting in a new kitchen may drive up the value beyond what your buyers can afford. Do your research and make the most of your current kitchen. I am so looking forward to getting this floor up. It was put in in 1983 when the house was built and now it looks very dated. And the thing is, kitchens sell houses, so I want this one to look fresh and bright. After Ralph helps him prep the floors, David will create a pattern with a new hardwood so that his inlay will look like a design feature instead of a fix. Well, that was great, guys. Good work. You're all very talented painters, but would you mind leaving so we can finish the job? Oh, that'd be sure. Tough. <laughs> See you when it's finished. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Buyers said that this house was dark, and I think they're right. The combination of the green carpet and the green walls was very dreary. So we're painting it this lovely pale colour, which has a bit of warmth in, and then we're finishing it off with a crisp white trim, and it's going to look fantastic. If you're using strong colours like red and oranges, make sure you keep the wall colour nice and simple, otherwise it's much too overwhelming on the eye. Decorative plates are great for staging because they are less personal than art. These are perfect for this beach house and give the impression of a laid-back retreat. We painted this hutch white and added these really pretty plates and that makes such an impact. Choose flowers with a light, pleasant fragrance to give a fresh impression to buyers without overwhelming them. I've chosen different lamps for each space so buyers will see the definition with a cohesive colour scheme. These vintage maps of Charleston Harbour are really pretty, but they also tie into the whole beach feel. We use many thin layers of varnish, which will make this floor more durable than if we did one thick layer. Ripping up that old floor has made such a difference in here. The new tile makes the kitchen look much more modern and bright. We've lowered the cabinets in the kitchen to provide easier access, and we've added crown molding to appeal to buyers. Storage is a necessity to home buyers. They always want more. This unit will also make tidying up for showings a lot easier on Ralph and Patty. It is amazing the difference fresh linen and a bedspread make in a master bedroom. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Oh, oh look, look at, this. at this. The entryway was confusing with the dining room table and computer crowding it. But now it's a proper front hall with a bench for functionality. Look at oh that. Oh, my God. Oh, that looks awesome. So we took it from in the passageway, painted it, Put it there. Change the doorknob. Change the doorknobs. Door what do you think of the paint colour? Oh, I love Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Because remember the buyers were saying that it felt dark in here. And now it looks so bright. Oh. You want people to say, wow. Well, it's, it's definitely funny. wow. Yes. It's like any sales thing. It's making your house look as good as possible. Right. Wow. I know, and then look at this. Oh, my Lord. That looks awesome. Before, the living room had an awkward layout and tile floor, which we've replaced with a new decorative hardwood inlay and a floor plan that maximizes the space. Look oh, at look that. at the floor! <laughs> the dance floor! <laughs> so beautiful. David did such a good job. He yeah. absolutely oh, did. It looks oh. like it's always been here, don't you think? Yeah. Yes, beautiful. it does. <laughs> and I like how the, the floor is, like, centered. Yes. It yeah. makes this into its own little room. I know. It's amazing. That was a bonus. Big bonus. I can't believe he was able to do what he was able to do with that. And we've got these vintage prints of Charleston Harbour. This is a beach house, right, you know? Right. And you want to you wanna stress that when buyers come round, and they look really beautiful. That is amazing. I'm shaking like crazy. Are you shaking? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this looks so beautiful. Then look at your new kitchen. Oh, <laughs> look, at, look at the cabinets. Oh, this is awesome. So what? bright in here now. The kitchen was dated and lacked the functionality and style that buyers demand. 
So we updated the floors, lowered and painted the cupboards and made space for dining. And look at the floor. Yeah, the new floor, doesn't it make such a difference? It's, it's so much brighter. It's a huge brighter. difference. What happened to my black floor? I know. <laughs> and look, now the cabinets, you can actually get into the cabinets. Look at oh, that. That's unbelievable. Now we can use them. And my famous bar is gone. Yeah, Your famous you. bar is gone, hey, I know. But I'll take this over the bar yeah, any really. day. Look this... at the table. And that's our table? Yeah. Yes, that's your table. And then we reupholstered the chairs. That's what buyers want to see. You know, they want to see a designated space where people can get together and eat. Right. And that's what we've given Beautiful. them. Look at that. And then we have these lovely movable butcher's blocks. Oh, so I you love can move that. them in. There's yeah. extra storage yeah. space, extra that. cutting space. Oh, this, this is like a wow, 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 wow. Y'all did a great. Great job. Oh, thanks, Ralph. Great job. Oh, my, <laughs> oh, my God. Lord. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my it God. It looks like a this new is bedroom. So beautiful. The master bedroom was not the retreat buyers are looking for, so we refreshed it with new paint and bed linens. I cannot this, believe this is, this is so the same pretty. bedroom. All we did is we took out the furniture and the clutter, we painted that. When I saw Ralph's grandmother's makeup table, I was just shocked to see how beautiful it came because it was really a heartened piece of furniture. And Definitely. we gave you some storage units here for beside the bed so you can keep your stuff there. That's, That's awesome. That's awesome. And then, uh, this is probably my favorite bit in here, look. We've got this storage unit. Oh, look at so that. So you can put all your oh, stuff that's in. that's awesome. It can all be neat and tidy. Oh, that's a that's great awesome. idea. I've never seen anything like this. It looks this. so clean. Man, Man. It's beautiful. I'm taking it from your, um, your reaction that you're pleased with your bedroom. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and you see there's a kind of theme going on. Everything ties in. It feels like everything was meant to be here together. It's wicked awesome. <laughs> is, this, is this wicked awesome? It's definitely wicked awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and right. the good thing about this is people are probably not going to recognize it as the same house. Oh, no. Not at all. No. The house before on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say, was maybe less than 1. And now it is absolutely a 10. Probably over a 10. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. Time for the verdict from potential buyers. Oh, wow, it looks so pretty. It is beautiful. It's just so inviting, and it makes you want to put an offer in. Oh, wow, it looks great. I would definitely consider this house. <laughs>